I want to show you that this quantity is equal to zero. This quantity is equal to the sum of all the x values minus x bar added up the same number of times. But what is the sum of all the x values? Well, that's just n times x bar. Why? Because the sum of all the x values divided by n is x bar. OK? And what's happening here? Well, if I sum up x bar n times, that's also equal to n x bar. The sum of the differences between each point and the average is just 0. This quantity here is just 0 because I was able to factor out that y bar. In other words, the numerator from our slope coefficient estimate is exactly equal to this quantity here. To simplify what I have on the board, I'm going to erase this part. So I'm going to state that this is equal to this quantity. Note that if I had taken exactly the same set of steps but reversed the roles of x and y, I could just as easily have shown that this is true. This is also true because I could have x or y in either role. Similarly, we can do something parallel to the denominator of the slope coefficient estimate. The sum of xi minus x bar squared, of course, is the same as the sum of xi minus x bar times xi minus x bar. And if I went through the same steps I went through up here, xi minus x bar times xi, xi minus x bar times x bar, I would end up with a second term that's equal to 0. In other words, you don't need that extra x bar here. I'm going to use these equations here as I demonstrate that beta 1 hat is unbiased.